Let me emphasize that this was not by any means an isolated incident. It is a culmination of a pattern. And it has, of course, been well known that throughout the war between North and South, the government has always recruited, trained, armed, and unleashed the Messiri Arabs ostensibly to fight against the rebel movements in the South, but invariably turning against the civilians, uh, killing, looting, burning villages, and forcing populations to flee out of the area, thereby depopulating the area. We have been re receiving reports of continuing attacks by armed Messiria Arabs in the Mog area, killing people, looting cattle, and burning villages. Some of these incidents happen in front of UNISPA forces or were reported to them, and their argument invariably was that their mandate was to protect civilians from uniformed armed groups from the government of Sudan and of South Sudan, and that it did not cover uh, intercepting uh, civilian uh, individuals, even if they were armed. In recent discussions that I had uh, with the force commander and that also leaders from South Sudan, including ministers, discussed with them, with the force commander, he confirmed the limitations on his mandate, although he did say that he was doing his best creatively to prevent the Messiria from attacking the Dinga or minimizing violence in the area. <laughs> This tragic incident could easily lead to the escalation of violence and conflict in the area, which, frankly, could even uh, trigger a resumption of hostilities between the North Sudan, that is, and South Sudan, which everybody agrees must not be allowed, must be stopped. <laughs>